what if you could send some audio to your audience, like in a live stream or video, and some to your headphones with individual volume levels for each? And not only that, but route apps and get separate control over them? Well, you can. Meet Elgato Wavelink, your ultimate digital audio mixer and processing suite. Let's take a look. When creating content, it's incredibly important to maintain control over your sound, and Wavelink gives you that power. It's a bit like having one of those big audio mixers you'll see at a professional production, but right in your computer without all the cables. Wavelink takes in audio like your mic and apps like games, voice chat, music and more, and mixes those together. Other inputs can include console capture cards and even non-Elgato microphones. These inputs are mixed into two separate outputs called mixes. There's the monitor mix, which is what you hear, and there's the stream mix, and that's what your audience hears. Here's a typical configuration when streaming games. The first input is my mic. I've also got some effects added. If you want to learn more about how to make your voice sound pro, check out this video on effects. Next is the game channel. Here, all the games are routed into this one channel, and it's super easy. Just launch the game, and then in Wavelink, it's a single click. Next is the voice chat channel, where you might select Discord when chatting with friends or Slack and Teams for work. Next up is music for mixing in Spotify or Apple Music or even other music sources. You can add even more inputs, such as sound effects, system sounds, and much more. These channels aren't limited to those specific inputs, so you can be creative with the nine inputs that you get with Wavelink, which by the way, includes your microphone. If you're running a podcast, you could add two mics, a sound effect channel, and maybe system sounds. Or if you use it for work, you'd have a mic, music, and voice chat. It's incredibly flexible. You'll notice each input has two sliders which control the volume and mute for the two mixes, the one you hear and the audience hears. You can reduce or even mute music if you're concerned about copyright, or increase your voice chat with friends so they're always coming in clear. At the bottom, you'll see a real-time preview of the audio levels for your mixes, and you can flip between them to listen into both mixes and ensure they sound really good. Once your routing and mixing is done, it's time to add the stream mix to your software. For example, in OBS, in the settings, select Wavelink Stream. It's really that simple. There is a third mix I should mention called Microphone Effects. This is a special mix that only includes the microphone and any audio effects that you've added to it. You can also optionally add sound effects to this mix if you want to add some fun. This is the mix you'd want to use if you're chatting in Discord or with colleagues in Zoom. If you select the stream mix, they'd hear everything you hear and you probably wouldn't want that. So, that's what you get with Wavelink, a powerful audio mixer that gives you total control of your sound with nine input channels that you can route nearly anything into, and three output mixes, one for you, one for your audience, and one for voice chat. So, how do you get access to Wavelink? Well, it's free with Elgato Wave microphones and audio interfaces, and even Stream Deck Plus. Download it today from elgato.com. There's even more to Wavelink, like voice focus, which gives you studio-grade sound with one click, audio processing with powerful audio effects, stream deck control, and much more. Check out those videos linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.